Hello, Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with the uh, Boats and Bros podcast with my bro, my Ray I think Hello. we should call it Boats and Babes. <laughs> for this episode, for sure. Yeah, it's our yeah. first one. Taylor Sism. Our top first female. Babe. She's got to be the top babe in performance boating because oh, for sure. she runs the whole MTI empire. Taylor, thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. You guys are on fire. <laughs> what, uh, what do you attribute that to? Oh my gosh. I mean, Randy's done so much work with MTI and... We always try to stay a step ahead of the entire industry, so I think that's always a, a really big thing for us. Is always forward thinking and what that next thing is going to be to stay on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is for as far as the next thing. You guys boat. Yes. That that's All what lot. I always <laughs> think. Well, we're we're an MTI dealer, Performance Boat Center, so we see how much the boats go in and out, and we see the changes of the boats. Yeah. And it's literally the changes. Uh, are performance based, but they're more boater based, yes. like creature comforts, yeah. uh, things to make it easier and more fun. Yeah, so, absolutely. For yeah. instance, like your 50, yeah. the center console, your mom likes to stretch out so the lounge is bigger on the back, right? Yeah, we added right. an option because she wanted to have her feet up, like especially <laughs> yeah. when you're going on like the long runs, like down to Key West and our Bahamas crossing and stuff like that. It was just a little more comfortable and by using the boats, we're able to figure out like yeah. the best user-friendly way to do yeah, it. Yeah, if you don't use them, you don't know. You're like, oh, it's beautiful. And you walk around it and you're like, yeah, it's beautiful. But until you're like, we're going for a two hour, three hour ride, yeah. right. but, you know, it's, not not everything can be just pretty, but it's got to function, you know, Absolutely. like right in your Escalade or in your Denali, you know, right. whatever it is, yeah, it makes a big difference. For sure. So Taylor, how old are you? I'm 26 <laughs> right now, I'll be 27 in a couple weeks. Okay, well happy early birthday to you. Oh, lady. And you've been in the industry since 2018. Yes. I met you at the Lake of the Ozarks speak party, remember that? Uh, your dad, mom introduced me to you. And in that short time, Oh my gosh, you've done a whole heck of a lot, right? <laughs> Thank I mean, you. Uh, defending world champion again, yes. back to back. Yeah, yeah. that's champion. cool. Yeah, that's the, that's the <laughs> racer side. <laughs> right. But if there wasn't a business side, there wouldn't be any racer side. Exactly. 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 That's the way it works with the whole. Everybody sees the racing side, mm -hmm. but it's that's that that that's something you do in the evening or the guys work on afterwards right. after yes. all the customer stuff's done yes. and that's what blows a lot of people away they think that's the first thing we work on right. yes. it's the last thing you work on yeah, a lot of people don't see that we're leaving here and going to church marathon yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so milton's probably freaking out like oh, man yeah. i gotta have this baby going oh, yeah. johnny's yeah. like man we got it tested i heard you spent some time at lake x yes, in the last couple of weeks so kudos to mercury for letting that happen yes. and uh so yeah so you're gonna have a lot more competition in that class now so that's cool too it but is. the coolest thing right when your first season was the uh, inaugural season of the factory 450 class. Yeah. And you basically ran all season on a post. Right. So people were like quick to criticize, well, she didn't race anybody. Come the next season, there was a whole lot of boats yeah. that joined that class. Yes. And, you and again. yeah. So that shut down well, all the naysayers, right? <laughs> exactly. you, you can't start a class and just say, hey, this is what we're going to do. Right. Mm -hmm. You've got to, I mean, I, I, at, at first I was like, ah, that sucks. They don't have anybody against them. But if you're not out there doing the laps, nobody's going to join in and go, now I'm going to try to beat this person. Right, right. So it, it's hard to say, it's hard to do it without, you know, it's not like 10 people are going to be like, yeah, I'm going to go build this boat. I'm going to go build a million dollar boat or $800,000 boat, whatever the price is right. and go race when nobody's done it. Right. So, uh, Kudo, kudos to that. I mean, I mean, I know it is tough at times, probably in the in the interim when you were trying to go out there and race, and there wasn't any competition. But now that you've done it and won, like Ray was saying, it's badass. I think you can't you can't replace seat time. I think that's the oh. biggest thing, and I tell everyone that. Right. And I think a lot of people don't understand the difference of poker running and racing. Oh yeah, it's a yeah, because I've been in a poker run with her, and you know we're we're doing our thing. And Missy was riding along, and I think it was a, was it a 39? Maybe yes. it was. Yes. It was a 39. We ran. I actually throttled, and it was uh, maybe Sean and you and yes. me and Missy, and I don't know if there's anybody else, but we ran a little poker run down in the Keys, and uh, yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, sh you know, shirt off, 
<laughs> like they, it, compared to you know white knuckle 110 oh, percent and, that, and that's when i did the uh, and she has a great throttle man and johnny oh, thomas a great teacher so we have that in common like the goat is our mentor yes yeah and, and and i'll say it to anybody like you want to argue with me i'll i'll fight to the death over <laughs> johnny being the goat because and, and there might be better but in my opinion and probably hers it's it's the our teacher yeah. so it's like if you went to tech school and learned how to work on a carburetor that person that taught you is probably the best or you know right. stuff like that and she has the uh, the best teacher the same teacher that taught me and i didn't even think of that before we started doing this podcast yeah. or this 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 uh, conversation but uh to, to to go into a race versus a poker run it's a thousand times more, isn't it? It is. It, it's not even 20% more. It's a yeah. thousand times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So explain, like, your, your first race oh. and that, because I've, I've explained my first race with a world-class throttleman, Johnny Thomason, and, or, or any race, but right. what's it like? I mean, I mean, so actually my first race is kind of a funny story because they called us like the three days before the race and they're like, hey, so you guys are going out with Supercat. Uh, I believe, yeah, I believe it was Supercat at the time. Yeah. And Johnny's racing Supercat, so finding the throttle man. And yeah. I was like, I'm sorry, what? Like, I've been spending all this time with him, whatever. Yeah. So Torrente stepped that's my, up that's and my, yeah. in, which was amazing. I, I really yeah. appreciate oh, that. Oh, and another good one, Sean yes. Trent Emmett, so, world champian F1 right, racer. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so but, yeah, um, another, yeah. every other race except for one I was in there with Randy. Um but Johnny's been absolutely phenomenal. I mean he he always tells me he's like, alright, take your deep breaths, you know, like he's like he always reminds me to breathe, which I think is funny with how much we forget I, to breathe. <laughs> he didn't tell me that ever. What a dick. You know. He was just like, hold on. Oh yeah. And you're like, you're going. And like he can like literally he is he's calm enough to notice that if I'm not breathing how I should be like that's yeah. his state of mind he's yeah. so calm he said that when, on our podcast about how how well you and how far you've come mm -hmm. yeah and, uh, so complimentary to you but we were uh, talked about how he keeps his cool oh no absolutely matter what's going on. and it does affect the other people involved whether 100%. it's a person on the radio yeah. whether it's the driver it's like hey Milton where are they at? Or hey, Milton, how's everything going? You know, and or with me, it was Dave or Greg Helmer or whatever throttle man we, or I mean, crew chief we had at the time. A lot of the time, he liked to talk to Dave McIntyre because that was his guy, and it's almost soothing to feel him talking to somebody else when you're in the boat. Yeah, because his tone is he's just like not so cool. he's not because you're thinking like, oh my gosh, am I doing everything right? And the fact is he's thinking about other things other than what my driver's doing right. and when you can think that he's like concentrating on other things you're like maybe he's not noticing how bad i'm doing <laughs> you know <laughs> you know it's kind of feels that way i mean because he's talking to them or like where are they at or we we should have went up i mean there's so many times we get before we get to turn one he's like we should have went up a half a pitch <laughs> you know or we should have moved the weight back i mean it's literally in the first yeah. 300 yards you know his, his memory is amazing to me oh. like he can be like oh well three years ago going to turn one in Cocoa Beach and they're running these props. I'm like, yeah. I can't even remember two races ago. Yeah, like, that's amazing. We had him on the podcast, he's like, oh, in 19... Yeah, 86, yes. yeah. July, yeah. And it yeah. was a hot day. And yeah. Like, oh, I know, I remember one time uh, in the boat, oh, so so now that we got Johnny poking him, we're in the, we're in the lead in my 2017 or 2018. Key West, we're in the lead, basically, if we stay ahead of the boat ahead of us and finish, we're gonna we're gonna win. He's like, man, I remember one time and like I don't even remember what year it was where we were in the lead, do just like this, and we dumped it. <laughs> and you're like, whoa, not a good conversation to have right now. You know, it was a V bottom at the time. I, I don't even remember what boat it was, but I I, I was like. Well, I'm gonna really focus more than I was because yeah. I don't want to be that guy that's in the lead at the world championship on the final day and dump it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So just, I mean, and beyond that, I remember being at your first race at Cocoa Beach and you know, Randy was excited. Yes. Sherelle was nervous. Absolutely. And yeah. 
that's got to be such a confident thing to build a race boat, have your baby race it and go, and go oh. you yes. know, like, it's so safe that yeah. I, I trust the boat to... Right. to well, they, they have. Yeah. Speak on that a little bit, like what you yeah. guys have done to make your race boat so right. safe. So, I mean, we worked with the UIM a lot when we did our overseas boats, and so we had engineering and tests and so many things done that passed all kinds of different levels of safety, and that was a super important to me that we took those to the U.S. standards, even if they weren't technically the standards in the rule book. Hey, it might even slow you down. Exactly. But These things same. might slow you down yeah. in a race boat. So. Right. So say that you have a two inch thick window or what, what's your window thickness? It's thick, it's like yeah. two and two and a half. Right. So say you have this and it's heavy to carry to the boat. Right. This is something that you're putting on the boat that makes the window structure safer, but it might make the boat not react as great in a turn. But, oh well, we're still making it safe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. That, that means a lot. Yeah. yeah. And we have a safety pod inside the lamination. So like between the yeah. lamination, that's like a little like almost like an egg shape. Yeah. And mork for mork. That's around. what I always think. Mork for mork. Yeah. It's like, but it's seven inches thick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty insane. So if, if you're ever rigging a boat and you're like, well, well, I'm trying to get in there, it's that thick yeah. to get into the boat. Yeah. yeah. So and I definitely feel safe. And then you're also supporting other racing, right? Because you guys oh, yeah. the concierge service yes. for the other racers that are in your class. Yes. Talk about that. Yeah, What's so we've got um, some great teams coming on board this year. We have Willie Cabeza back from last year. GC uh, Racing. Yes. Yeah. Nick and Ian, they just announced with uh, George being the team owner for 151 Express. Wow. So that's going to be a pretty cool team yeah. to race again. That'll be cool. Youngsters. Yes. That's the way I think of them. Yeah, because and... Nick's dad, Joey, raced with my yeah. dad back in the day. <laughs> so it's cool. pretty cool that we're yeah. the next generation. Cool. Yeah. Um, and I think Torrente's been working with Nick a lot because Nick works for Sean Torrente. Yeah. So they've been working with yeah. his race boat and his Pleasure 39. So I think he's going to get up to speed pretty yeah. quickly. And she's talking about the stock boat with the Ray Marine slash 34 MTI that used to be overseas now that this came back. And Sean Torrente's day is, I'm trying to think, narrowed to make it fit the class rules. Yeah. So, yeah, I got it. But... <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to worry about him, but I'm sure I do. Uh, <laughs> being a stock class, but so there. So enough with the racing. We're talking about all these boats that you guys do: 42s, 50s, 39s, 44 cats. How many boats a year do you guys build? So I think we did around 50 last year, and I think we're shooting for 60 50. this year. So 50. <laughs> continuing yeah. to try to up that. Right. A boat a week. And if you've ever climbed around a 42V, a 50V, a 39, it, it's, it's Odyssey batteries lined up. <laughs> you know, this why It's cables, it's battery chargers. It's, it's an unbelievable feat to think that you can put that many boats out a year. It takes an army, so. Yes. How many people you got working? Oh, we're about at 200 now. Wow. Yeah. In two separate facilities, too. Yeah. Right? Technically three if you count all over. Oh, right. Yes. yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, because that's the final delivery testing ground, final delivery point, Milton and his crew keeping everybody running. A lot of uh, customer events, which yes. you guys always do an unbelievable job. I've been lucky enough to be on a few of these. Literally, you have an MTI and you're on this fun run. You, you, you pull into the slip and there's people wiping your windows yeah. off. I mean, top notch. Always. Oh, it, I mean, it's like being at a full service gas station in the 70s, you know? I mean, obviously, they, they love their customers, so it's really cool. No, it's great. Uh, your motto, or at least Randy told me, it's like, you guys are a, uh, what is it, uh, an eating family with a boating problem or yes. something like that? Yeah, it's an eating team with a boating problem, because yeah. everywhere we go to is usually food. Oh, yeah. So so good. Like, oh, where are we going to stop? Food. Yeah. At the Lake Ozark, it's like we get up, we go to breakfast by boat, and then we're sitting at breakfast going, where are we going to boat to lunch? Yeah. And you're sitting at lunch going, where are we going to boat to dinner? And it's like, it Or fuel. Food or fuel. Yes. Yes. We got yeah. double F's. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. I mean, because what do you need? I mean, basically, that's all you need. That mm -hmm. boat, the boat, 
the food and the fuel to keep yeah. you going. Yeah, so in five short years, you're running the operation. We're, we're trying to take over more and more. I'm trying to take over more and more. Um, so we've hired a great team to kind of be around me and support me, which I feel really great about. Yeah. Um, yeah. This year's MTI's 25th year in business. Congratulations. So that's, that's a awesome. huge milestone. Huge. Yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, I was lucky enough to see it grow. I don't remember how many employees the first time that I came to it. Uh, there might have been five, right. you know, wow. maybe 10 yeah. and to 200. Right. I mean, congrats on that. You, it goes to show how hard your mom and dad and everybody that's been involved through the years have worked to do that. It's obvious just something that you wake up and when you go to 24 seven of your life, it, this is what it is. Well, and I, the last time you guys posted some family pictures, you guys were boating up in the uh, the northeast, you know, and it wasn't necessarily a, a boating event, but you guys were all again. I'm like, and I was like, I was like texting, I'm like, oh, that is so cool that even when you're not working, you guys are still boating together. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right? And that being said, there's going to be a new addition to the family. Yes. You're getting married soon. I am getting married soon. Oh, yeah. And we're voting to the wedding, if you can believe that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that. So, yeah, Sean. Sean. Sean Peters, yeah. Sean Peters. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, we're doing destination wedding that we can vote to. So that was oh, so cool. fit the criteria perfect. perfectly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, That's why awesome. wouldn't you, right? Exactly. Yeah, like, that's It'd be weird good. if you did. Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> on that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And that, on that, you know, uh, even so much respect for you uh, that the Lake of the Ozark shootout named you chairperson last year. Yes. Right. It's like, and then you did amazing stuff, raised a ton of money for charity. Absolutely. Yeah, we're trying to help them again, especially with Make a Wish. Are you returning as chairperson? Yes. Awesome. Yes. That's so great. Randy's actually joining me as well. Okay. So cool. He's really excited about that, Very and nice. I'm working with Tiffany and everyone else over at the uh, Lake of the Ozark Shootout to hopefully raise even more money this year. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. And you guys did such a great job last year. Um, are you guys still currently hold the uh, the Damn to Damn Challenge yes. record. Yes. <laughs> that was <laughs> crazy. It was crazy. Right? Yes. It goes back and forth, but uh, you may maintained and held on. Oh, absolutely. Um, it's like a grudge match. Yeah, like it was a rubber match. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, look what I can do. Oh, yeah, look what I can do. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah. It, I, I mean, a lot of fun with bat, bat, Battle of Attrition, it, it's it's a it's a tough thing to do it's to go. It's a lot harder than people think it is. Yeah. Like, oh, you just got to go right. there and back? Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. so, especially in our lake where we have a lot yeah, of debris. 100, uh, debris, 186 miles, mm -hmm. turns, overheats. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if people know, like a lot of the times we run the motors as high as we can to get every last mile an hour out of them. But you can't modify water pickups and things like that. And it affects cooling and things like that. So uh, it, 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 it is. I, I've never done it. And uh, I hope that I don't have to. <laughs> also, once you get past, like a lot of people don't know because they never been oh, that yeah. far, but like the 60, 70, it starts switch back. So if yeah. you don't know where you're going, you're in a coast. And you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To where even on your one that you set the record, you and uh, Randy went in and had a whip oh, yeah. of Yui and little, said you were spinning, you were you were stirring up mud or something, oh, but then came right back out. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it looks like, oh, I'm straight, I'm going straight, but really you turn behind trees and go back around and that's where the lake continues. Yeah, it's like an so, oxbow, I think is what they call it, but yeah. you get up there and it it all looks the same. You're like, a, where do I go? <laughs> yeah. I've, I've done it in a bass boat at 60 miles an hour, not in a race boat at 120 miles yeah. an hour. So crazy. So what does MTI have on tap for the rest of 2023? We have our big 25th anniversary celebration in a couple weeks, so we're gearing up for that. Um, of course, race season's about to start up. We have our Bahamas run, which we've got 17 center consoles heading over to the Bahamas with us in June. So always hope the weather holds out for that one. Um, let's see, we got a couple poker runs on tap, and then, well, of course, we'll have Key West. And yeah. Uh, right, kind of just here. for people to understand, 17 center consoles alone <laughs> has got to take it. They're all at least 11 foot wide. Yes. So just say if you put them side by side, there's your 170 feet right, or 180 feet wide. Yeah. It's almost a football field long just to park them side by side. Not so. Right. Anyway, it's 
it's a huge undertaking to, for all of their events that they do. It, it's 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 really cool. Uh, if I could ever afford it one day, maybe I'll be an MTI owner. <laughs> That's what he said on, on a couple of podcasts. Yeah, I mean, boat. my dream boat would be a 42. Obviously, if you're in a dream, you dream big, it'd be a 50V. But right now, I'll, I'll keep it kind of in perspective, and I'll say a 42V is my dream <laughs> boat. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, as busy as you are, thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you, guys. What a great turnout tonight at the oh, uh, Desert Storm Street it's been Party. Busy. Yeah, it'd be crazy. So, anyway. Mara Coil, Ray Lee with the Boats and Boats broadcast with Boats Pete and Babes. Jones. Boats and Babes for tonight, yeah. Thanks for joining us, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This podcast is powered by Speedboat Magazine. Subscribe now at speedboat.com for nine power packed print issues a year direct to your mailbox.